Good morning. <laughs> it is baking time. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Either Cat Lamp, Admiral Fang, John, and Anguyen. For the third week, senior off. Wouldn't the joke be that I forgot to turn the voice changer on, though? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's 6 a.m. Valir. <laughs> bueno, su día, su. Oh, hi, Ogo, say mas. <laughs> How's everyone doing this morning? This fine, fine morning. Let me check the game settings. Is there anything that I should? Language, English, audio and visual, frame rate unlimited. <laughs> is that wise? Is it wise to leave that on? Surround sound for ambient sounds. Oh, yes. Turn that on. Thank you. We shall see. If the if the game if the game crashes, we know we know why. Go intensity. Should I put the fog intensity on or off? I wonder. Can't wait to see Betty and Abigail again. Oh yeah, when... Forgot with, at what point did they appear? It's baking time! Aventa, should I leave the fog intensity on or off? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. <laughs> These settings confuse me because it says, for example, surround sound for ambient sounds and it's off. But in the description below, it says disable surround sounds. But if I turn it on, it says enable surround sounds. What does this mean? <laughs> what did they mean by that? gonna just enable and everything i don't even i don't even think i have dolby thing stuff whatever but but yes hopefully that that will be good and won't destroy me But yeah, how are you guys? Are we ready to bake? Are we ready? I don't even have much to say. I just wanna, I, I, I wanna 
play the game very badly. Now live on your channel. Thank you. Thank you, YouTube. We're ready. We're ready. <laughs> okay, let's just go. Let's just go. There's nothing there's nothing nothing left to say. Just it's, it's baking time. <laughs> How's the music volume? Is it good? Should it be down a little? Or is it alright? Hey, Dusk Blight! It's good. Sounds good. Alright. Man, I remember when I saw his screen on the on the demo and I'm like, <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't have the additional content yet. Um, next time. Let's go, let's go. Standard. Now let's just go with standard. We're not cowards here. Um, enable, because I don't remember anything <laughs> from the demo. Oh? Oh? オークの命が失われ生き延びた人々は時代を乗り越える新たな国家を建設した。希望が広がるにつれ、南極に組みする国々は増えていった。南極連邦は各して成立し、人類最後の安住の地となった。一方、かつての超大国は衰退を極め、力を失った権力者たちは保身のため、六
それが今回の作戦を成功させる鍵となる作戦名はパン屋だベイクリー何年に素晴らしい戦果を持ち帰ってくれることを祈っている今朝方東部汚染管理連合会会長より北部コーカサスにおける難民救援計画の進捗状況について報告がありました That intro wasn't there for the end of the demo, right? That whole intro, I don't remember. I don't remember it from the demo. Good old relic, my favorite plot device. Hell yeah, you know it. Let me just I'm calibrating my 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 thing. Definitely not in the demo. Yeah, I was like, damn, look at all this. Look at this entire introduction. All right, guys. It's time to read all the lore stuff <laughs> again. Hope you're ready. <laughs> Eastern Contamination Control Association. A civilian oversight organization founded for the management of regional decontamination projects. Typically, they are involved as a third party which works with local authorities to assist in the evacuation of existing refugees, assessing the feasibility of the contamination projects, and supervising any subsequent decontamination work. They work closely with the UR and C and have jointly completed many regional decontamination projects. Uh huh, yeah. The Refugee Aid Program. Yay! Reading terminology, my favorite part. The Refugee Aid Program is a humanitarian aid initiative. The Refugee Aid Program is a humanitarian aid initiative, jointly led and implemented by the Global Rescue Foundation (GRF), the URNC, and the AU. The program aims to help relocate civilians in yellow zones and war zones to green zones and to provide necessary medical checkups and treatments for those infected with ELIR. The GRF sent many DOLE squads into yellow zones to search for civilians who remain and was responsible for sending ordinary infected who met the radiation dosage requirements to the nearest URNC or AU checkpoint. There, the relevant authorities will take responsibility for their living conditions and medical treatment. Moderately, as severely infected individuals will receive preliminary care from the GRF on the borders of the green zones to be sent onto the, onto the checkpoints after their conditions are stabilized. Since its, charter was established, since its charter was established in 2085, the refugee aid program has relocated millions of refugees. Even the deterioration of the UR and CAU relations did not hinder their progress. And uh, here is the GRF, Global Rescue Foundation. This international non-profit organization was founded in 2075 for humanitarian purposes by a group of volunteers with paramilitary equipment and training. Their primary purpose is the safe transport of refugees from contamination zones to the green zones. Due to the risk of radiation contamination, many of the rescue teams are comprised of dolls. Since refugee transfers were an effective way of increasing the URRC's population and ensuring a, already, and ensuring a, a steady influx of people into the green zones, the URRC tacitly accepted their existence and provided them with a certain amount of assistance. By 2090, their area of operations spanned all of Eurasia and the Atlantic, with 9,000 9, employees and 20 8,000 registered members. Damn! Contamination zone. This refers to areas which need to be decontaminated and restored according to the European Collapse Contamination Restoration and Revitalization Joint Development Agreement. Their names are so long, why? But where the contamination work has yet to be completed. The URNC has five distinct class classifications of contaminated areas in order of increasing radiation intensity. White zone, green zone, yellow zone, red zone, and black zone. 
And here it is, the URNC, Union of Rosatrice Nations Coalition. Rosatricism primarily espouses a delayer style of resource distribution and a narrowly defined management system, as well as a highly automated system of societal guidance. After World War III, Rosatricism was proposed as a solution to the problems of civilian needs and reconstruction, eventually being adopted as an internationally accepted value system. Damn, they have, a, they have a logo and everything. And here is a, the Antarctic Union, abbreviated as AU. It began as the governing body. It began as the governing body of Hollow City. Remember the Hollow City guys in Antarctica, uh, researching the relic that's there. It began as the governing body of Hollow City which was originally founded for the purposes of investigating the relic site found in the massive hollow under the Antarctic ice cap, and jointly chaired by professors Jonas and Lee Deming. Once World War III broke out in 2045, the AU promptly declared Hollow City as an independent nation for self-defense purposes and cut off all means of entrance to it, which marked the beginning of 20 years of silence. And now they're back. Now relics for anyone who forgot what relics are. Hey, Mango Tango, no, you didn't miss anything big. I mean, aside from the intro, I guess. But I'm just, I'm just reading the like 20 Lord documents that they throw at you in the face as soon as you begin the game. <laughs> Relic refers to ruins from an honor civilization discovered in 1905 during the reign of Tsarist Russia, Russia. Relic sites have been found all over the globe, with many nations having found relics within their territory. The technological level of these relic sites far surpasses the pinnacle of modern human science, and as such they have become the focus of, the focus of every nation's research. However, the early outbreaks triggered by the excavation of relic sites became a global pandemic, forcing the nations of the world to sign a treaty prohibiting the further excavation and study of relics. The relic site explosion during the Bailan Island incident covered the world in collapsed particles, and the ensuing struggle for resources and living space led to a third world war, which in turn supported the creation of the URNC and the AU. Thanks to the reverse collapse technology that the AU obtained from relic research, they gained a tactical advantage in the ensuing war with the URNC. This also forced the URNC to restart their research into relic technology to once again regain the advantage in the field of relic science. <laughs> Thank God crew exists, I can enjoy the lore while studying, double studying. <laughs> with, with, with your eyes, you study whatever you need to study. With your ears, you study the girls from my lore. <laughs> <laughs> Alid, an abbreviation for Uroski Low Emission Infectious Disease. It is a highly lethal disease caused by radiation from relic sites, which is, with its mechanism of action being collapsed radiation induced cellular mutation. The organelles of mutated cells then undergo mitosis and continue emitting collapsed radiation, restarting the cycle. Clinical symptoms. Clinical symptoms include, but are not limited to, epidermal silicification, accelerated metabolism, immunosuppression, and unstable cerebral activity. In the early stages, patients exhibit accelerated metabolism, increased red blood cell count, decreased white blood cell count, and show signs of immune system suppression. Mild auditory and visual hallucinations may also occur. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Here, there. mild auditory and visual hallucinations may also occur, with brain waves showing unstable alpha rhythms and localized high amplitude beta waves. Theta wave activity also increases significantly, and theta waves can be periodically observed. Mm -hmm, I see, of course. At this stage, the patient's internal organs and bones do not exhibit any abnormalities and appear no different from normal. 
In the middle stages, the patient continues to exhibit the rapid metabolism. While the red and white blood cell counts return to normal, the body loses its normal immune function. At this point, the patient may experience severe hallucinations, with occasional mental disturbances and heightened aggression. The frequency of alpha wave activity slowly decreases, while beta waves increase greatly. greatly. Occasional large-scale concentrations of high-amplitude delta wave activity can be observed, along with irregular silicification of internal organs and skin. In the advanced stages, the red blood cell count decreases while the white blood cell count increases, and the immune system goes into a hyperactive state. Patients experience increased bone density, pronounced silicification of internal organs and skin, and significant alterations in the body's elemental composition. Carbon drops from 18% to 13%, and silicon rises from less than 0.1% to 5.1%. Ah, yes, Elir. Lovely, lovely, lovely uh, illness. Collapse particle. This is a type of particle wave, also known as collapse radiation, whose composition is unclear. Only bottom quarks and photons have been observed. Inside a sealed circular polarizer, it can be visualized on the macro scale as a kind of fluidic, non liquid, matter that reflects green light. The substance known as collapsed fluid is essentially a dense aggregation of these particles which undergoes exothermic breakdown at extremely high temperature to become collapsed particles. Collapsed particles are highly radioactive and penetrate matter rapidly, whereupon they begin emitting radiation in an omnidirectional fashion, inducing cellular mutation and leading to elir. I love all this science that I don't know if it's real. I don't know if it makes any sense, but it sounds cool. <laughs> Reverse collapse, name drop. This refers to molecular collapse and reconstruction technology, which was derived from Antarctic Union research on relics. Analysis of the relics indicates that the civilization which created them used some kind of collapse fluid to internally disrupt intermolecular repulsive forces in matter, thereby inducing an orderly collapse phenomenon and leading to a quantization of said matter. Meanwhile, the original macroscopic orientation of the matter will be recorded on a storage device. This process is known as the collapse phase of relic technology. During the reverse collapse phase, the collapsed mass particles will regain their original intermolecular repulsive forces and macroscale particle orientation based on the data recorded in the storage device, thus causing the matter in question to be reconstituted. Collapse and reverse collapse technologies allow for the discorporation and reconstruction of matter at will, and even the transmission of matter over long distances. As such, it has been the focus of both the AU and the URNC's research. Its advent has rewritten the book of fundamental physics knowledge, and to date, humanity still does not fully understand this branch of technology. Currently, the Antarctic Union has used reverse collapse technology to create the material shuttle, which allows them to, to provide certain kinds of resources and support over long distances. Which is basically the thing you see, I, if I remember correctly, Mendo has it on has it on on his shoulder, which is basically a thingy that allows them to <laughs> pretty much just bring things into existence. Here it is: material shuttle, a device that uses microwave energy to perform at will matter collapse, teleportation, and reassemble. The Antarctic Union has succeeded in miniature, miniaturis, miniaturizing reverse collapse devices to the level of infantryman portability. In addition to the reverse collapse hardware used by their naval and air forces, the AU's renowned TASA members are all equipped with personal scale reverse collapse devices. Mika team, do we putting a lot of effort to explain their science bomba jumbo? Yeah, they could just be like, oh yeah, it just it works. But they're going like, oh yeah, it emits like waves and like molecular things and stuff, blah, blah, blah. And you're just like, mm-hmm, yes. 
Of course, I understand. Hey, Timondev. Good evening. Good evening to you. Tata. T A S A. Can you say Tasa? Or that would that sound weird? I don't know how English people say all these things. <laughs> things and stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, baguettes. An elite unit of the Antarctican Internal Defense Force and one of the most formidable combat units operating under the Antarctican Air Service First Special Operations Group. Their full name is the Tactical Air Shock Army, abbreviated, as, abbreviated to TASA. Like NASA? Okay, so I can say like TASA, okay. TASA means mag in Spanish, by the way. It's just not with S. <laughs> But it sounds pretty much the same. The forename is the Tactical Airshock Army, abbreviated to TASA or TASA. They are famous for their rapid dominance combat style, harsh selection and training procedures, as well as their high mortality rate. Lovely. And okay, we go back to the beginning. We got all the lore. All the lore. C for the log. Can I get it to repeat the lines? No. So we're gonna broadcast here. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be reading everything since like, you know, the game is in Japanese. But um, again, as I do with Honkai Impact, uh, I might not put as much effort as I normally do in making to making voices since you can hear the voices of the characters. <laughs> yeah, just the, the you know the good good old introduction, 30 minutes of lore. This morning, the chairman of the Eastern Contamination Control Association delivered the latest progress report on the refugee aid program operating within the North Caucasus region. According to the report, approximately 2,000 refugees have already been evacuated from contamination zones under the joint effort of the association and the Rosa Trist Coalition. <laughs> We got more lore. <laughs> you guys thought we were done with the lore? Man, I love reading. <laughs> A squad fox. Nothing to do with me, probably. A squad commanded by Carl Mind Mindefold. I can't remember if the, that name is right. That was formed to carry out Operation Bakery and reporting to the Antarctic MI MID. The Squad Fox is responsible for finding and contacting the objective within the Caucasus region. During the operation, the eight man squad entered the area of operations in disguise and split into two teams to conduct reconnaissance and obtain information about the mission objective. The first team is led by Captain Carl Mindefold, while the second team is, le is left. <laughs> left, not led by Lieutenant Anderson King. I love Lors. <laughs> a squad racer, a fire support squad under TASA, formed for the purposes of Operation Bakery and commanded by Captain Jevon Sterling. A squad racer is responsible for securing a squad fox's extraction route. In the early phases of the operation, they are to establish safe houses, establish extraction points, and provide fire support when necessary. Hello, Kalius. Hey, Terror. MID. Main Intelligence Directorate, okay. The highest ranking intelligence service in the Antarctic Union. Responsible for all internal and external intelligence gathering in the AU. Its full name is the Antarctic Union Army Main Intelligence Directorate. Abbreviated to MID or MID. This agency falls under the military's jurisdiction and possesses the authority to mobilize and command the elite first special operations group of the Antarctic Air Service. In 2092, MID intercepted intelligence regarding the URNC's discovery of subject G179, the Furious Movements, 
As a result, as a result, they clandestinely deployed eight agents into the Caucasus region to make contact with and extract the subject to the Antarctic. This operation was codenamed Bakery. I to play the game myself, so I'm just gonna lurk and not watching. All right, Kalios, understandable. I hope you enjoy whenever you started. Operation Bakery. Operation Bakery is a covert operation initiated by the Antarctic Union to extract a VIP codenamed Bakery from the Caucasus region, within the area of the URNC's military jurisdiction. In 2092, the AU's MIR intercepted intelligence regarding the URNC's discovery of Soviet G-179 Diffuse movements. As a result, they clandestinely deployed eight agents into the Caucasus region to make contact with an extracted subject. Okay. This is the, the same as the other one. Operation was commanded by Captain Carmine in the field. The eight agents were split into two teams and inserted into the mountains 20 kilometers west of the city of Teverda in the Kereshai region. There, they will conduct preliminary surveillance and reconnaissance. After making contact with their target, a third team from TASA will assist in their evacuation. God, I love Asian games and their use of kilometers. <laughs> Hila, hello. Hila is high and all Let's go. ¿Qué tal, qué tal? And here's Mr. Carl. Carl. What's baking? Hey, Ark Blark. Blur is baking. We're being 30 minutes. He's just reading lore. <laughs> reading all the lore entries. This is Fox 1, hailing Razor. Please respond. Razor copies. Please report. Fox 2 1, over. <laughs> the voices are so good. Baker is now with Fox 2 2. As per the plan, we'll head towards Extraction Point 3 once we run the boo. Please ensure the safety of the delivery. Over. Razor copies. The extraction point is secure, awaiting your arrival. Stay sharp, over. <laughs> Here he is! The boy of the hour! Mendo! Taz is already standing by at the extraction point. Our lift will be here soon. Mendo, you're right. I'm fine, Captain. He has such a good boy, boys. I love it. Just a slight bit uneasy. The operation is turning out quite differently than I'd imagined. Than I'd imagined. Relax, kid. A mid agent doesn't mean you have to fight and kill every day. Instead of worrying about nothing, do something about your accent next time. Hearing you talk always makes me worry that we'd be exposed any second. Sorry, Captain. I'll do a better job next time. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to this soon enough. Rule number one of being an agent. Your head is your strongest weapon. Got it. Were all previous operations carried out at this pace? I wish every operation went this smoothly. Thanks to the intel from our informant, we know that the URNC troops won't be patrolling this transportation road today. <laughs> it's funny because I can hear them say pan in Japanese. <laughs> mm, pancito. All we have to do is bring the bakery to the extraction point. We might even make it back in time for a drink tonight. I hear bakery is a... You're number two of being an agent. Don't ask questions not in your need to know. Yes, sorry. 
どうせすぐにご対面するさパン屋を守るのがお前さんの仕事だからな Anyway, you'll see for yourself soon enough Your job is to keep bakery safe Understood, I swear to complete the mission ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ At the young age of 23, he was invited to the Antarctic Union's Research Institute of Microphysics, where he made significant contributions to the establishment of supercomputer microscopy models and the derivation of the reverse collapse theoretical formula. He had also proposed some theoretical hypotheses on the molecular flow transition technology. Known for his affable nature, he married Helena Overstein in 2068. The couple had a son, Mendo, in 2070. How big is the game inside with the VOs? Oh, give me one second, I'll check. Helena. Dr. Helena Martin, a physicist and the deputy director of the Collapse Radiation and Gene Medicine Institute of the Antarctic Union Military Medical Research Institute. She worked alongside Philip Martin at the Institute, and the, and the two got married in 2068. Two years later, they welcomed their son, Mendo. Hehehe. <laughs> Helena Overstein. Hehehe. <laughs> It's a especially short bio, I know, right? Mm. Wait, let me see. Uh... If you stop hearing the, the game music, it's because I, I tapped out.、Uh, Steam Doco. Library. Mm. Properties. Where can I see the? Oh, here. Size of installation. It's. 13.8 gigabytes. So almost 14. Is this, is this just fantasy? No, it's me. It's real. Hey, Chaplam. Yeah, no, it's not that big. My father, huh? He's, he's been missing for so long, I can't recall much about him anymore. Did you buy the deluxe edition? I plan on buying it, but I haven't bought it yet because I saw there's like after you finish 1 2 or 1 3 or something like that. At the point when they give you all the skins, there's a skin that might be a spoiler. So I'll, I'll buy it later, but I, I do plan on getting it. My father, huh? He's been missing for so long, I can't recall much about him anymore. All I have left of him is this pendant he gave me. Philip is the most intelligent man I've ever met. If he wasn't in charge of a top secret scientific project, I will have never let him leave the Antarctic. Let me close. I opened Steam in the background to, to check things, and suddenly, suddenly it's, the game is doing weird things. Keep that pendant, we'll find him one day. I can only hope so. Right, enough chit chat. There we go, it's good now. Over. 
Fox 2-1 to Fox 2-2. We'll reach the destination in 30 minutes. Nothing unusual here. What's your status? Over. Fox 2-2 copies. We made it to the pre-arranged rendezvous point. The cargo is in great condition. Over. Right. Maintain your position and secure the place. We'll be right there. Over. Work up. The rendezvous point is just across this valley. 20 minutes later. We're almost there, aren't we? Just 10 minutes away on foot. Is it time for the scheduled check in? It's overdue. But Tutu hasn't got in touch. Fox 2-1 to Fox 2-2. Fox 2-1 to Fox 2-2. Fox 2-1 is about to reach the target location. Nothing out of the ordinary here. What's your situation? Over. Why is it just static? Anderson? And now we get Bio on Anderson, Lieutenant Anderson King, born in 2052. He's an AU officer attached to the mid 7th Division. He is a seasoned field operative with a history of complex operations. He's a junior of Captain Carl Mindefield and was influenced by Carl to join Amir to carry out intelligence missions. So you got him into this? Captain, I think I saw several figures flitting about on the mountains. Are Fox 2 and his team here already? Hold on, something turned right. On your guard. What was that? Damn it, RPG, we're being ambushed. Watson's truck got blown up. Mendo, work that wheel and go around the wreckage. We need to make a break for it. I can't, the engine got shot. Woo! The bulletproof glass isn't gonna hold for long. Mendo, grab your weapon and get out of the truck. And here we go! Here we go! Where are these soldiers? Was your route leaked? There's too many of them. We're pinned down. Don't you stand there waiting to get shot. Retreat to the forest for cover. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Uh, oh yeah, action points. Yeah, I remember this. Uh, moving over different terrain across the amount of AP. Okay. Uh, there we go. Get in there. Those Rosatry bastards clearly knew would be passing through here. They also know who we are, the software disguise. Ow. Stop dithering, son. Watch your surroundings. The enemy is sending in the next wave soon. Clearly not something we've seen in Gertrude. Yeah, no, what's, what's an action point? It's the first time I see that. There is no action to be patrol long press T to end the turn. Oh, now! I'm playing on a standard, so normal, yeah. I did play on challenge, I did try challenge mode for, for the demo, but um, I'm not a, I'm not really a seasoned strategy player, so. <laughs> so I'd rather just play on a standard. I'll leave that guy over there to you, keep your cool. Shoot him when he enters your optimal range. Roger. Oh, you're right, the optimal range thingy. Press Q or tap on the target to enter attack mode. Oh yeah, here we go, opti oh, optimal range. 
In one turn, an enemy unit can attack multiple times. Oh yeah, it depends on the AP. Optimal range is in red, so optimal range is in yellow. Right, die. Oh no, there's more of them. We're catching up. Keep moving within the forest and take the initiative to catch them off guard. Understood. Ooh, the curse to a tile. Oh yeah, 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 the preview. Oh, I can't move anymore. Haha, <laughs> bitch, you thought. Come on, old man. How come you didn't kill him? You were right there in front of him. We're in the clear. No more pursuers for now. This is Fox 2 1. This is Fox 2 1. We're under attack. I repeat, we're under attack. 2 2, do you copy? Anders Anderson, answer me, damn it. You know, there doesn't seem to be any friendly fire. The signal is being jammed. Those bastards came prepared. I don't know if it's a setting or if it's just not there at all. The satellite phone is still in the track. We need to call Tassa for, for we need to call Tassa for backup. We may still be able to establish contact with it. That's too risky. We can't go back into the enemy's firing range. But we'll just be waiting to die if we stay pinned down here. How are you going insane, Mando? Fucking hell, get your ass back here! Found it. Thank god it's still in one piece. Mando, get down! What? Mmm. I sure would love to be next to that. What? Wait, what? This is different. Hello, Tenshi. This is different. This was in the second demo? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. You split the first one because I, I wanted to... I wanted to save... I wanted to, 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 to save everything for the release, I see. So these are the story changes they mentioned. I understand. Is it over? I don't like the way she said that. I told you not to come back. It hurts so much. Are you hurt? Come on, Mendo. How do you fall for that? Hello? Are you my goddess? Yeah, remember... Remember Proto Mendo? <laughs> Who are you? Yo, the voice? What, don't you recognize me? I'm the one you care about most in the whole world. Shut up, you don't deserve it. So 
so you were the same as them. I don't think that the, the I I don't think any of the demos were voiced. Was the second demo voiced? You can run, but you can't hide. Let's see what we've got. Damn it! They announced you after the second demo, okay. Yeah, the VA is top notch. You think you can defeat me alone? Where the fuck are we even? The fuck is she doing? Take this. Oh, that was his blood? Oh yeah, his blood is weird, right? I remember that. Ripperino. Was I dreaming just now? How? I can't remember. Who's there? Oh, hello. That was something. Most memorable moment is Tank versus Lolly Gear. Is that is that in the remake? I remember that was in the in the original one. I I, I can't remember if it was in the remake. You. Oh, I love her voice. It was in the first showcase. And there is the girl of the hour, the bakery herself. It's Jane, ba it's Jane Bakery, guys. I didn't think any of Mid's people would survive. Do you know about Mid? Where is the med kit? In the truck, under the back seat. Miss Bakery. Found it. Here, treat your wounds. Thanks. At least none of my injuries are fatal. Did you kill these people all by yourself? <laughs> How do you know about this place? Were you looking for something? You have a lot of questions. Who are you? You don't look like an ordinary civilian. How do you know so much about our situation? The Via hates that emotion is by very well. Yeah! I love it. Wasn't this coming to their platforms too? It was supposed to be coming out for Switch. I don't know what happened with that. I think I hear footsteps. The enemy searching the area must have doubled back. I need to go. If you want to stay, be my guest. And there, and off she goes. 
No, I have to catch up. Thank goodness I still have my weapon. The satellite phone also, also survived. Time to move. Hey, PCU! You just missed the weirdest shit that happened. Mendo had the weirdest ass dream. The first battle. Let's go! December 18, 1851 a.m. Hmm. Cut up, have you? Who on earth are you? Why did you help me? I didn't. You just so happened to be lying there. Is that so? You don't seem to need to look for directions despite the, com the complex mountainous terrain. Seems like you're very familiar with this place. Are you local? How far did you play during the demo? I... During the first demo? I finished the first chapter. I can't remember if I started the second one. So I got to like... The base with the other girl. And like, they tried to... They like, she, she, she dragged the footy at one point. To like, knock her out. And I don't remember much else from there. And I got to the point where... You know, <laughs> the first reset, I think? When she goes boom. <laughs> but I, I don't know anything more than that. So yeah, you know... Aside from like the first chapter, the first demo, I don't really know much. So no, no, no spoilies. And I don't know, I only played the first demo, so I... I don't know any of the changes for the second demo that they made. Stop talking. There are searches nearby. If you don't want to die, follow me. But charging ahead like this makes it more likely for the enemy to spot us. I suggest you use your time to worry less about these trivial matters and scout the enemy positions instead. You look like you really... Scout the enemy's position. Ordering him around. Fine, I'll do it. Let's just pretend that it's it's the hook to keep you invested for now. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's just the the way for them to make you go. What the fuck? And then they throw you back into <laughs> into the first mission. <laughs> like, oh yeah, no, that was just a dream. Don't worry about it. No, Mendo was just having funny, funny haha -ha nightmare. It's nothing, nothing important, nothing relevant. <laughs> there are a few scouts ahead, and several more soldiers guarding the intersection at the bottom of the slope. From what I know, there is a path to the east that leads straight down the mountain. We can. Before we descend from the mountain, there's somewhere I have to go. This isn't the time to wander off without a plan. Where exactly are you going that's worth risking your life? I told you once you get rid of them. Mm. Within 10 turns, no, I literally need to defeat 9 enemy units. Alright. Alright. Yo, Sir Mordred! Yeah, you have light PTSD moment. Victory objective, aha. Uh -huh. Bonus objective. All right. And where the fuck is the specifi specified position? Ah, oh, here. That is how I move. Oh yeah, down there. Is this the thing still in the house? It was in this house, right? Or was it on this one? Oh, it was on this. When did I get membership? Thanks. Oh, people were gifting memberships. Oh yeah, oh, oh, oh shit, right, Mendo, it's not in good condition. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's fine, he'll be fine. 
go pick that up. Woo! Grenades! We love grenades. There are some useful frag fra fragmentation grenades here. Put them away for now. We'll lose them when the time is right. Pretty sure it's the second house. All right. Can you get to that thing, Jifuri? Medicine. Do you have any AP left? No. Okay. We just end turn. Frag grenades, my beloved. Now it's time for a grenade. The enemies are gathering this way. A perfect opportunity to test out these grenades. How do I grenade? <laughs> Boom. It's very effective against a large group of, group of enemies. There seems to be more supplies nearby that we can pick up. Don't be hasty, there are still enemies in the forest. Right, I see them. Let me observe their movement patterns and firing range first. Press C to view the danger, danger range. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Kill yourself, Mando. Ooh, a med kit. And I think that's it for them. Oh yeah, right. Uh... Wait, is there more down there? Kill him, Mando. Get him. Got the game as well. Let's go! And uh, you still have action points. Let's go. How many enemies have we killed? Five out of nine. All right. It looks like the garrison at the southeast intersection is still standing by. We're getting close to their firing range. Let's plan our strategy before alerting them. Enemy action mode. A standby or stationary. It will switch to attack mode. Okay. Only attacks enemy units and wrench. Okay. I see. We can use the obstacle ahead as cover and take advantage of the favorable terrain to wipe them out. Right, let's do it. 
And we can get different status effects when standing on different terrain. So when enemy units attack, they will be affected by the terrain. And you're out of action points, but you, you can still move. I'm missing one enemy to do the nine though, for sure. Oh, I think more show up. Here we go. There they are. Look at the sniper. A human UR and sea soldier who specializes in covert ambushes as their primary means of attack. They are mainly responsible for assassinations and ambushes against distant targets. They are one of the basic combat units of the UR and sea. Attack priority closest distance. Hi. Sniper on the high ground is straight ahead. I'll take him out. My rifle's more effective against a long range target. Leave it to me. I think Yifuri can. Yeah, she can straight up just hit, in, hit him from here. Down it goes! Stay there. By an introduction, gets shot. Yeah. Gunshots, capture them. Hailing team two, requesting support at the eastern intersection. <laughs> That's just how used to get blasted by the most in real. Team two copies, heading to the location to provide support. Enemies are also closing in from the west. Don't engage. Let's retreat. Let's retreat quickly. All houses give heal. I still have one grenade. Oh yeah, he did heal a bit more. I need to get into the house. Uh, house heal. I don't actually remember. Did the houses heal in the heal in the demo? Here it is. Heavy coat. An extremely warm coat left behind in the house. Bakery may find it useful. Yay! All right, now get out. You also get out. Now, can you tell me where you're going? This way, follow me. It does heal in the demo? I've lost a target. I think they've gone down the mountain. Don't let them get away. After them. Woo! <laughs> ah, the victory jingle! Do you guys recognize? That victory jingle.
Level up. Level up. All right, all right. Good, 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 good. First time hearing it. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Warana. <laughs> yeah, smile. I think we're giving them the slip for the time being. You know how the UR and Sea soldiers will move and react? It's almost as if you anticipated what will happen. What if I tell you I've experienced this before? Will you believe me? Huh? You have that look of utter disbelief on your face, though. So, so do, do I? So Am I really such an open book? <laughs> if I thought Anderson was working with agents like you, I would have just tried to sort things out on my own. You know Vice Captain Anderson? Man, this is a dream I love him, real. I knew it. You're not a local. Your objective of formation. Your bake. Bakery, right? I stop using that horrendous god name. Then what do I call you? I don't see the point of giving my name to someone who might be dead in a few minutes. <laughs> oh, I love her. We're here. Here? You have binoculars in you. Look towards the bottom of the mountain. Eh. <laughs> Woo, look at that, beautiful. That's where we were supposed to rendezvous with a squad 2 too. Yeah, I don't think we're rendezvousing there anytime soon. Those bastards, they even sent, sent in armor units. Hey, yo! Oh, here we go. Gerd versus Tank. Wait, I'm not... I'm not sure if I remember this. On the first demo. Maybe I just... I mean, I have very bad memory, so... There goes the rendezvous point. Who's Ligue? It hurts so much. Nigga, get up! Run! Oh, it's her memories, I think. This wasn't in the second demo either. I don't remember- Yeah, right! I don't remember this! Oh, hey! Seiya! Thank you for the raid! Hello! Hello, everyone! I am being shooketh by this. I don't remember this. <laughs> Leech? Yeah, me too. I mean, I don't know. Ligue, Leech? She got turned into paste. I don't remember this, man. I, is my memory that bad or did this not happen? Come on, receive. Two white-haired targets remaining. Fire. Kill the one in front of you. Holy shit! I mean, she says Lige in Japanese. Where's the R in Rige? Rige? Rige. Catch up raid! Yeah, just in time. Just in time for the laser beam. <laughs> Rige wasn't there. She's been recovered this time. Did they figure out her identity? It's it's so shocking to hear her so full of emotion. And then when she talks to Mendo, she's like, oh, you'll be dead in a few minutes anyway. What's the point of telling you my name? <laughs> no sign of the bodies of our men. Has the scene already been cleaned up? Or do you have more brutal? 
How was the OG? How was the OG is saying? I know there were there was more blood. She got later than carpet bomb. Holy shit. <laughs> there must be an intelligence leak. Not only did they jam our comps, they even mobilized heavy weaponry and armor units. They obviously planned this. The fluctuation wasn't a hallucination. The what? Got to find her fast. You're just dropping all these things that were in the demo. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but I was not expecting it. Chapter is extremely lore heavy. Ooh, delicious. What? Wait, where are you going? After the IDW, Dania. Oh, yeah, right. I got to IDW last time. I've learned all I need to know here. But you can't just go off on your own. Since you're my mission objective, I got to protect you. Protect me? You? Uh, I love her. I mean, I remember he, she was like this, but still. Even though I'm the only one left. You saw what's like down there. The evacuation was a complete failure. Danny knows your every move. I'm better off on my own. <sighs> Praise TL Anon. Yeah, so far it's been great. I mean, I haven't been so far in, but it's been great. And I, I've noticed they... Because I remember last time in the in the lore they throw at you at the very beginning. There were like a few cost inconsistencies and like typos. And now it was it was good, like 10 out of 10. Am I winning? Yeah, but I mean, I've only done like the first, the first mission. <laughs> I am a tired two field agent from the Antarctic Union. You can call me Mendo. I swear I will help you evacuate to safety. I love his voice. He's such a good boy. Good boy. <laughs> will you now? Then, please tell me, Mr. Mendo, where exactly should we evacuate to? I... Moshi Mosh? Hold on, that's a satellite phone. Why would it be ringing at a time like this? Aren't the signals jammed? The Lord will have his fingertips all over it, it's really obvious. Yeah! I was like, wow, now everything makes sense. Now there's no weird, like... I remember the first time there were some lore documents that you were like, this was not translated by someone who knows about your Frontline lore. And, and so far that has not been the case anymore. <laughs> Which is great. Who is it? I'm not sure either, let me check. This... Unknown oh, number. No, it's a scammer. Don't answer. They want to tell you about they want to tell you about your car's extended warranty. The car is encrypted. If I remember correctly, the code phrase for answering this call is. Wait, you're taking the call here? You do realize that expose or location, right? If it's an encrypted call, it must be from our, from our informant. We can use all the information we can get right now. Give the call to one minute. Also, I want to hear the whole conversation. Fine. Moshi Mosh! Ghost. I am a ghost. I await your confession. 
All right. I don't think there was a sprite the first time around. Well, see, even if it's shadowed. And the first demo. I don't have a distorted voice. I mean, I do, but like, which one to use? That's William's uncle? Holy shit. Remember tonight, for it is the beginning of always. I didn't expect a call from you, Crane. I'm glad someone picked up. What's the situation on your end? Not good, we're trying to evacuate. What about you? Yeah, no, I don't know if I should trust Seiya anymore. <laughs> I'm like, is he is he actually saying the truth? Is he just trolling? Or is he saying the truth and pretending that he's trolling? I don't know. <laughs> His mind games are beyond my comprehension. What about you? Relatively safe for now. Don't think anyone is on to me yet. The minute I have some privacy, I try to contact you to see if there were any survivors I can make sure I get paid. On one hand, I don't think Seiya will spoil. On the other hand, do not believe his lies, I don't know. <laughs> Is it really lying if he's not telling the truth? <laughs> So you knew about the ambush beforehand. Why didn't you warn us about it? I'm sorry. By the time I found out, it was already too late. The commander at the base deployed a force to derail your mission, but didn't inform the regular garrison. Really? God damn it. The search target has escaped. The brass just gave the order to widen the search and send more men to sell of the area. The target is safe. I'm planning to make for the safe house to the east. Can you give me any kind of assistance? I see. That's a relief. I guess you're going to evacuate to the east too. There's a bridge over there. As far as I know, most of the garrison has been out on patrol. So you can make a run for it in that direction. I remember the bridge. I do too. It's a shortcut connecting two mountain peaks, right? Cross it, and you'll be out of the URNC's current search area. I can't draw any more attention, so you'll have to deal with the enemies in your way yourselves. Many thanks. We'll be on our way then. I seem to have an answer to your previous question now. Don't get cocky. <laughs> She's so nice. Do you think you rebelled a bit too much? Don't forget you got ambushed because someone gave you away. I just gave him some necessary context. It won't affect your plan. Can this man be trusted? I'm not authorized to know his real name, but Carl told me this man is a mid-ranking officer in this area. 
彼の情報をもとに作戦を進めていたそのおかげで今回も途中までは順調だったんだ The intelligence he's provided has been instrumental to all of Mate's operation in recent years The early phase of this plan also went smoothly thanks to his help Without any other source of information at the moment, I have no choice but to trust him In any case, it beats being sitting ducks, don't you think? I just hope you're right Let's find the bridge that Crane mentioned first. If the defenses there are as weak as he promised, we can make our move. We must be cautious. There are bound to be obstacles on our way east. The URNC has set up a line of defense at the village ahead. I think there are quite a few soldiers carries on there. Yeah, I noticed. Fortunately, it's snowing pretty heavily. Just like right now here. Oh, they stopped. Yay. We might be able to take advantage of their blind spots and pass through. Let's go. Casual playthroughs over 80 hours. Oh, let's go. I'm gonna be here all year, guys. <laughs> Nine thirty one AM Yay the menu the game has been saved, thank you. Character information can I do anything? Do I have anything? I don't have outfits. Uh I'll get the outfits later. A standard will be over ten hours of building collection. Oh wait, I'm playing on a standard. Oh well! Uh, okay, yeah, I don't think I can do anything here yet. Uh, okay, yeah. I remember the backpack. Okay. Can I make any? Item production, here we go. This is what I wanted. Can I make any grenades? Should be good. I put my difficulty at the highest so I can suffer. <laughs> and this is okay. Yeah, this is this map. I can't remember where I need to get to though. Down here, I think. And there's the items here. I can actually just check the map. I love this, actually. Challenge difficulties for the authentic experience. Yeah, that's for the uh, authentic pain experience. Ooh, document? Right. Let's save. And let's go. Sneaking through the snow. We get the sneaky sneak now, no? or is it later? The heavy snow has almost completely obscured visibility. We should proceed with caution. Isn't your informant supposed to be really resourceful? Why not have him divert the garrison away from this area? I'll get in touch with him. Crane, do you copy? Yes, what is it? 
There are troops stationed at the village between us and the bridge. Can you divert them? If I do that, you'll soon be talking to our military police. Then what do you suggest? Our military operations strictly follow standard operating protocols. Small, ordinary villages in the forest like this one are typically managed by a team of 18 personnel. The key is to confirm each soldier's position and visual range. Utilize our blind spots for cover. Speaking of cover, the forest is an excellent choice as long as you don't alert the garrison. On the other hand, there will definitely be scouts among the garrison who will be occupying high vantage points. Their visibility expands when they are at elevated positions. Please keep that in mind. Is there a regular patrol route for the garrison? Fortunately, the soldiers in that area have completed their patrol and have started to stand guard in their current position. Take advantage of this opportunity and act quickly. Got it. I'll contact you later once we're somewhere safe. Oh, by the way, I won't answer the call directly next time. I'll contact you when it's convenient. I don't want to blow my cover because of a rookie mistake. It's not worth throwing my life away when I still haven't collected the remaining payment. I understand. So we're on our own. It seems we can't rely on him going forward. Just scout the area with the intel we got. Uh huh. Enemies there. Enemies there. Enemies there. Enemies there. Crazy intel is still valuable. There are no signs of enemy activity for now. Thanks to the campfires, they build up to keep warm. I've noticed a safe route through the village. Let's advance to the target location without alerting the URNC. Oh, that, that is where I need to go. I live in it, I'm not exposed. Pick all supplies. Oof. Pick all supplies. Sheesh. Terrain fog. And only enemy units in visual range will be visible. All right. Oh, okay. All enemy positions are now exposed in our line of sight. There are several soldiers blocking the main road to the south. We need to take a detour to the east. Stop, there are scouts on the high ground up ahead. I'll go from their visual range first. We should be able to slip past them. Okay. Unit Alt represent normal lethal trench and allied on it can safely pass through these areas while in a stealth. The other tiles represent anti-stealth visual range. And others in a stealth will be exposed. Oh okay, 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 okay. Yeah, just avoid yellow. When moving in a stealth, avoid yellow cold visual range to pass safely. Avoid yellow and avoid green unless I'm like stealth stealth mode. We'll be spotted if we go any further. Let's use a stealth to move past. With this heavy snowstorm, it'll be hard for them to spot a prone target from that distance. Alright, tread lightly and stay alert. Don't let your guard down. How do I stealth? E. A stealth. Sneaky sneak. What's with the huge task force? Who are they trying to capture? I heard that the frontline units have already captured whomever they wanted. Maybe we don't even need to get involved. So we came here for nothing? Well, it might not be such a bad thing. There are enemies on both sides of the road up ahead. They won't spot us for now, while we're in a stealth. We can safely observe the enemy's visual range for now. Wasn't there a way to have it, like, active? Uh, I really provide concealment. 
so I don't have to be clicking all of them. Although the visual range covers the road ahead, the complex forest terrain can work to our advantage. The forest ahead is dense, it's a great place to take cover. Let's go there and stay low for a bit. So if I'm hidden, even if I'm within the visual range, they won't see me. Easy, easy. Easy. What? Our troops were attacked? Bird, come with me. The frontline search party may be in trouble. We need to reinforce them immediately. The rest of you keep your eyes peeled. Don't let the target slip through this area when I'm gone. Woo! One less. That was a false alarm. An enemy came this way. The enemy positions have changed. We need, re we need to reassess the route based on their visual range. There we go. Thank you, yes. Visual range style with concealment markers will not be displayed. All right. Let's go grab that fury. Stealth. Some kind of Antarctic war situation. Whoa, Lord! <laughs> International refugee immigration during the first Antarctic war. Researchers monthly in November 2092. Before the outbreak of the First Antarctic War, the Union of Russia Trees Nations Coalition established and maintained a world power that was centered around the Eurasian Security Zone, with its influence reaching the southern extents of Africa and South America. Hey! He buys, he buys. Lore! Although the UR and C had already deployed forces to the regions bordering the Antarctic and made attempts to evacuate civilians northward before the outbreak of the war, the rapid northward shift of the front lines left many UR and C civilians trapped in areas controlled by the Antarctic Union. The military forces of the AU were well equipped but few in number. As such, the majority of their forces were concentrated on the line of contact with UR and C forces during the First Antarctic, Antarctic War. In the rearward areas controlled by the AU, pro-AU elements form armed, armed militias to maintain local law and order, and interim governments backed by the AU administer these regions. With the ideological clash between the AU and the URNC reaching its peak in the 2090s, oppression was practically a way of life for those URNC citizens trapped in AU-controlled regions. Without third parties and international NGOs to coordinate efforts in these regions, Life grew more and more difficult for the stranded members of the URNC. 
The systematic persecution of Rosatrist and URNC citizens led to the first mass exodus of refugees northwest from South America and South Africa. In mid 2092, the URNC and the AU opened several humanitarian corridors throughout the, co the contested regions to help refugees flee north under the coordination of the Global Rescue Foundation. At the same time, background checks and political vetting of pro AU citizens were also carried out in major white zones throughout URNC territories. Many people were arrested for showing their political inclinations during the honeymoon period. As a result, there was also a small-scale movement of refugees from the heart of the Eurasian continent. The escapees usually resorted to illegal immigration, first arriving at URNC borders and then seeking opportunities to enter yellow zones, and move towards AU-controlled areas. During this process, convoys of the Global Rescue Foundation that returned to areas controlled by the AU also assisted these refugees, resulting in tensions between the Rescue Foundation and the local URNC defense forces in some areas. By the end of the First Antarctican War, the Global Rescue Foundation had recorded about 1.1 million people that fled north to the URNC. The number of pro-AU citizens who fled from the heart of URNC territory could not be verified due to a lack of detailed records. Post-war estimates put the number of escapees at around 60,000. Sheesh! Right. No one can move anymore. We we escape on the next turn. Woo! A stealth. Level up! Level up! We made it. At the end of the expect you to just go in head first. Well, time is precious, and this was the quickest way. That was actually a lot easier than the training I had. But this isn't training. Do you know what will have happened if they found us? But we're standing here in one piece, aren't we? If Crane was right, then the URNC already cordoned the entire area and started a blanket search. We would have had no chance of escaping if we'd waited any longer. If you think about it this way, it was worth taking a risk by going through the village directly. <laughs> I'll admit you're right, but it was still a terrible idea. So what do we do now? We're not far from the bridge. Once we're out of their encirclement, I can handle the rest. <sighs> I just hope you won't get shot full of holes before you can handle the rest. Thank you for the vote of confidence. Let's go, we should make haste. Ten minutes later. If we keep going in this direction, we'll soon reach the eastern valley. The bridge should come into view after a bit more walking. Enemy forces are indeed quite sparse over here. The intel given by your informant is accurate. I told you, he's one of our most experienced informants. I'll definitely get you out of here. Alright, go easy on your rebuttal for now. You said you'd know what to do once we cross the bridge. Care to share what you have in mind? <laughs> Ten minutes later, both are falling a pit, hitting the jam chapos. <laughs> Before you made contact with Vice Captain Anderson and his team, how did you get around? So I was right. 
like our field agents, you hit it right on the Global Rescue Foundation's refugee transport. You're right, that's what I've been doing. But how could there be any refugee transport in this kind of place? A few humanitarian organizations are sponsored by Mir, so they often do us some favors in return. I'm guessing Anderson found you because he noticed you've been traveling via these transports. So the AU Intelligence Department has influence within international third-party organizations. I certainly didn't expect that. It's just for the sake of protecting our compatriots. Most of the operations in these treacherous regions are done by dolls. We just borrow their eyes. Dolls, since you guys have no idea what a doll is, right? Dolls are robots which closely resemble humans in appearance and which possess advanced AA capabilities. They are capable of performing daily tasks and rendering simple combat assistance. They are also known as Autonomous Dolls, a dolls, and enter experimental trials in 2033. IOP rolled out the first generation of tactical dolls, T-Dolls, in 2054. In 2092, the vast majority of dolls have been upgraded to 6th generation doll technology, featuring carbon-based biomimetic epidermal coverings, carbon fiber skeletons, and a 5th generational neural cloud system running on the 4th generation of the center protocol in a self-evolved 3 shaped tree-shaped network AI configuration. That was a lot of specs. Where Jen was raw, she was prototype for third gen. Neural Cloud, also known as the Neural Cloud system, it refers to a form of data backup technology used by autonomous dolls. In 2057, the research institution 16 Lab was founded. Its funding came from IOP and it was nominally affiliated with 42 Lab. It was during the same year, 42 Lab launch Project Neural Cloud. During the same year... Wait, 2057? Oh yeah, for 2057. 42 Lab launched Project Neural Cloud, which was intended to devise a cloud-based backup system for ADOR's Neural Cloud data, thus ensuring that said data could be preserved even after suffering damage to DOS structural frame. This backup data could be redownload onto a doll into a doll when it was remanufactured and reduced costs. Error cloud technology was successfully de developed by the end of 2060. We're so advanced now! Robot like the first of the Gen 3 type? Uh, she was pretty much a Gen 3 prototype. But she wasn't like officially gen 3 like nobody came and said like oh yeah she's gen 3 but she was pretty much like the groundwork for gen 3 one of their doll operated refugees transports just so happens to be passing through this area if we travel fast enough we may be able to catch it before it leaves they are giving free access to this area, mainly because of the credibility of the Global Rescue Foundation. If the URNC ever finds out about them colluding with the Antarctic Union, you know the consequences. If there were a better solution, I wouldn't want to get them involved either. <laughs> I just need them to transport us out of immediate danger, and then we'll go the rest of the way on our own to the nearest safe house. We'll find sufficient supplies there as well as an encrypted comm system, which we can use to make contact with TASA. We can evacuate to safety this way. TASA? As long as we can regroup with our paratroopers, it doesn't matter how big a force the URNC sent away. 
Le Le Kampf. Kampf is given a piece end of the bargain. Humst! Colonel Kampf Campbell is the commander of the Tassa Aerial Assault Unit, an elite division under the Special Operations Command of the Antarctic Union. Kampf has a close relationship with Captain Karen Mindefeld and Professor Philip Martin. After Philip's disappearance, he adopted his son, Mendel. <gasps> Family! That guy from NGS Campbell, yeah, yeah. With that kind of military strength. How are you going to contact the refugee transport? I memorized the runner schedule. We can still make it. The real plan was to drive to the safe house once the bakery was delivered. It's probably already past a great time. I just hope Tassas is still waiting for us at the rendezvous point. What if they aren't? Then we'll have to go to the pre-arranged evacuation point on our own. That doesn't sound good at all. Before we set off, let me take a stock of the supplies we have. Well, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dumb as thick. That's a miniaturized material shot on your shoulder, isn't it? Can you just reverse collapse more supplies? What do you know so much about this thing? It's meant to be confidential. You're not using it in the presence of unauthorized individuals. Yeah, don't bother. Anderson has used it in my presence many times. That rascal. Actually, it's not that I don't want to use the material shuttle. It's just that due to a signal interference, this machine can't connect to the transfer port on the, of the relay station. A disconnected shuttle can't reverse collapse anything. So this is affected too. What about rematerialization? Can't you synthesize objects with a material shuttle? Not without remote authorization. Sheesh, your Antarcticans are so fussy. Do that to me. Tinkering sounds? What do you want with it? Cut this, then short this out. That should do it. What did you do to it? <laughs> I made your stupid gadget bypass the authorization lockout. Now I should be capable of material synthesis. You're, you're right. Do you even know how to repair our shuttles? <laughs> <laughs> She's bullshitting. She's bullshitting so much. Well, Anderson demonstrated how it works to me, and I just picked it up. Anderson again, huh? I've had a lot of practice in the simulator, but this is the first time I'm actually doing it. I hope it won't be too different from my training. Now we just need to find suitable parts to synthesize new supplies. Better get moving then. We'll come up with a more specific plan once we've reached the bridge. <laughs> this is a clone trooper. <laughs> For real. Woo! Just like the simulations, he will say. No puede ser, el mismo Fernando Lazo. <laughs> Item modification function has been unlocked. Hey yo. Hey yo. Oh yeah, right. To do to do thingies to upgrade items.
Naur. Should I make more grenades? Yes. The answer is yes. The answer is always yes. Grenades. Oh, okay, it's this map. Okay, I, I remember. Oh god, it's this map. <laughs> Uh, I still can't... Still can't uh, upgrade the skills and all that, so... We save... I'm guessing it's not... Um, I'm guessing it's not gonna be relevant. That relevant at the very beginning. But... Is this a game that I should keep, like, multiple save files, you know, to, like, get different endings and whatever or is like is it is it whatever like i usually just keep one save file but, uh, but yeah not this early okay i need someone to make me a non-spoiler guide to be like make make different save files at like these points <laughs> I need a spoiler free guide. I will spoil you with collectible locations. Yeah! Collectibles! In the snow. <laughs> We're here. Let's first assess the surrounding area. But in this case, it's your turn to be on Doria at the foot of the mountain today. Right, let's go. The bridge is the only way across the valley. There are people guarding the bridgehead. In comparison, the outpost won't give us much trouble. We can use a stealth to pass them carefully, while most of the troops are on a patrol. What are your thoughts on this? There is a control terminal on each side of the bridge. If I'm not mistaken, we should be able to control how the bridge is hoisted. Let's destroy the terminal on this side of the bridge before we cross. If we're spotted, we can stop most of our pursuers by erasing the bridge when we're on the other side. But first we need to get the passcode for the control terminal. This shouldn't be a problem for an agent of the Antarctic Union, right? Hmm, there are consoles inside the outpost. We can have them we can hack them to get to the to get the passcode. But we don't know which one it's stored in. We'll need to search them one by one. You can use this device to hack in. I happen to have a spare. Alright, let's split up and move quickly. Wait, while there aren't many people in the outpost, don't let your guard down. Be sure to pay attention to their visual range. Take this just in case you find yourself in a tight spot. Use, to t use it to take out the enemy quietly. Superphoric dart? Ayo? Hey, I can put them to eep? Are we baking? We are baking. So before I darts, when did you get your hands on this? I attempted to synthesize some using chemicals after the material shuttle was repaired. But the quantity is limited for now. We need to use them sparingly. Right, let's go. We didn't have those darts in the first demo, right? Seriously, do you want me to? Oh yeah, if you know where collectibles are, tell me. I want the collectibles. For those who patrol do this later, warm yourself up first. The frontline reports indicate that the targets have escaped. Given the timing, they may be nearby. Catching them will be a great feat. They were not something else. Ah. We're a time to start moving. Let's observe the movements of the personnel. Oh, okay, right, the patrol.
Uh, I don't remember where the passcode was. I think we, let's, I mean, we'll just have to go through all of them. I'll give you a hint for this collectible. Let's go. If I pass through the collectibles, through these, do I pick them up or do I need to stop there? Oh, it will be on the third one, no matter what. Is it still fully viable in this? I know it's needed in most cases. Fully viable in what What do you mean? Like if you can complete the game with only stealth? I don't think so. Woo, parts! Where's Mendo? I lost him. <laughs> I lost Mendo. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> he abandoned you. She's working as intended, Ria. <laughs> Hack in this terminal. No passcode here. Mend the things. Woo! Hacking. No passcode. I'll try another one. Alright, uh, she has no more moments. Near the last objective. You mean down here? Like near the bridge? Or near the last console? safe over there. Alright. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. This console thing is apart. Oh yeah, okay. It's okay, we're fine. 
We're hiding in the trees. Yefuri can't move this round. You're going back up there. be good. Hey Reggie. Chicken mode just make them sleep. Oh yeah right I could I could I could do that. You're not letting me see the keyboard. Oh he's so AP. They stay asleep until someone wakes them up, right? Yeah. I remember. It's fine! Get into the tree! None of these guys patrol, so it's fine. Funny enough, I am completely invisible there. Because that makes sense. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't see that he patrolled. Okay, uh, restart turn. I didn't see he was one of the patrolling guys. So he's moving there. Okay, so... And he's coming down here. Should be good if I stay on the tree, funnily enough. A stealth. <laughs> I just needed to stay one one thing behind one tree amazing truly Confidential file obtained. Internal reference. Report on the Antarctic Union's relic technology. <coughs> Lore. We're putting the mission on pause to bring you lore. Pick up the collectible before you clear this part. Oh, okay. The reverse collapse technology of the Antarctic Union document 4. For internal reference of the URNC Security Committee. March 2090. Reverse Collapse Technology is a mature technology possessed only by the Antarctic Union. Its fundamental principles are unknown, and quantum physics struggles to explain the manifested phenomena. 
The following is a list of currently known reverse collapse phenomena. 1. Reorganization of matter at the atomic level. 2. Instantaneous shift in spatial position. Note, there could be a temporal shift that is unobservable because of the uncertainty principle. 3. Creation of special domains that can absorb energy. Now, note, not relevant to the principles behind force fields. Quantum physics currently offers no explanations to this. Scientists of the United Nations Relix Agency discovered reverse collapse phenomena as early as 2043 and started to recreate them in 2045. Reverse collapse technology forms the basis of the Antarctic Union's self-sufficiency during its isolation era. With it, the AU is able to reverse collapse soil, rocks, seawater, and sewage into typically usable raw materials. This is the reason why the AU was able to seal off Hollow City in Antarctica following the outbreak of World War III and spent 30 years in isolation. Due to technological limitations, there is a limit to the amount of mass that can be processed using the Antarctic Union's reverse collapse te technology. But it has successfully sur survived its era of isolation by mass producing reverse collapse equipment and adopting a circular economic system, thereby returning to the world stage in 2075. After more than 30 years of development, the Antarctic Union has succeeded in cre creating a miniaturized version of its reverse collapse device that can be issued to individual soldiers. The devices are issued to all members of the renowned TASA on top of being a standard equipment for both the Navy and the Air Force. Air Force. Like the Antarcticans, a reverse collapse phenomenon was observed in 2064, but further investigations into the matter were not performed. After the Antarctic Union ended their seclusion and returned to the global stage, we were able to obtain several pieces of their more primitive reverse collapse equipment during the honeymoon period for, for research purposes. After the war began, we have been able to gather a considerable amount of first-hand data on the technology through repeated tests and calculations, which has given us a sufficient understanding of the capabilities and limitations of the Antarctic Union's reverse collapse te technology. We have placed more emphasis on training our troops in tackling reverse collapse phenomena to gradually reduce the Antarctic Union's technological advan advantage in warfare. Guess the phenomenon? Does it have to do with um, M4 yeeting herself to see on the Northern Lights? Oh, I still have action points here. It's M4's fault, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now where is the collectible? Collectible Doko. Haha! -ha! I remembered. Box full of trophies. A big box that contains an old handguard, some wooden building blocks, and a glass bottle. There are also a few acorns in the corner, but what exactly are these for? Do you guys remember this? Oh wait, he's, he's right there, so I can't. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, just make him sleep, right? Uh, it's fine. I forgot. Okay, you footy. Fuck. Woo! Passcode is in this terminal. I have it. Right, good. Let's meet at a safe place first. Victor, time for your shift. Break them sure those fly by. Back to the mountains we go. Now it's getting lighter. We need to hurry up. Wait, there's movement up ahead. Now it's ship change. Anything suspicious in the previous patrol? 
No, but even if there were, all the traces would have been covered by all this damn snow. Achoo! Keep your voice down. If the captain hears you say that, you'll be dead meat. Right, enough to chat. We'd better be off. This is our chance. Let's sneak our way past on the side. Let's sneak our way past on the side. Make sure they don't catch sight of us. Sneaky sneak, sneaky sneak. This position is not bad. I'll scout the area near the bridge first. Hmm. The crossing is guarded by a few scouts. I don't think we can avoid them. I see a terminal. We'll be able to lock the barricade once we enter the passcode at the terminal over there. Uh huh. We know the locations with the terminal and the patrols. We'll make a move when we're closer. I don't think we'll have that chance. The fog is dispersing. Grab your gun. What? It's fighting time. Captain, come in! Suspicious individuals spotted. Suspected to be wanted targets. Two persons near the bridge. Copy. Intercept them. Our superiors want them alive. Damn it, where the hell did they come from? It'll be on our heads if we we'll let them get away. All units, sortie immediately. Capture the targets. Okay, it's time to kill now. Attention all units. Suspicious individuals spotted on the west side of the bridge. Pursue immediately. No more stealth. It's on the alarm. We need to make a break for it. Team 7 in position. Now engaging the targets. The enemies are coming. We mustn't waste time here. Let's find an opportunity to run for it once I remove the barricade. We can synthesize some trip mines beforehand. When they get here, these mines in the ground will slow them down, giving us some time to cross the bridge. Mm -hmm. Alright. We make some trip mines. have a limited numbers of mines, so use them wisely. The commando units have a stronger firepower. We need to prioritize them. Let's use that position. I'll leave it to you. Trip mine doko. Lay more mines if you think there may be incoming threats from other directions. Assess the situation and do as you see fit. I'm um, like, we should probably put another one here. I'll hack that gate open. Enter the passcode. Great, it's down. I'll destroy the terminal. Report, the control terminal on the west side has been destroyed. The barricade on both sides of the bridge are disabled. All units, to stop the targets from crossing the bridge. Get in there. Boom. Now we run. Now we make a run for it. <laughs> Woo! Look 
with all of them. Go to love mines. Hell yeah. Uh, how do I see the da the danger range? Wait, am I good going past the bridge? <laughs> what? Was I not supposed to go past it? Wait, am I good or I was I supposed to... Oh, I was supposed to get both on the line. Okay, how do I... Uh, restart turn. I made the same mistake. Yeah, you, you will kind of guess that it'll, you know, it'll be fine. As long as you... As long as you go past things. But I guess not. <laughs> race the bridge quickly. Oh yeah, because we were supposed to race race the bridge. Crap, they've raised the bridge! The terminal on this side is also destroyed. I think these CGs are new. We can't get across. Captain, please advise. Like, I know this happened, but I think the CGs were in there. Team 3 is now in position. We're moving out. Oh no, enemies. Spread out of fight cover. Reformers have arrived. Oh no, enemies. Whatever shall I do? Not the snipes. The night patrol have returned as well. Not just the patrols, the nearby UR and C squads should be hidden this way too. The URC has set up barricades and sandpiles here. We can use them as cover and take out the nearby enemies. Okay. Chum 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 chum. Mm. Defeat two enemy units using a turret. I also pick up one of their weapons. Here, take it. You don't want it? I don't like their weapons. Do what you want with it. Alright, give it to me. I should be able to synthesize a simple turret out of it. The enemy is nipey. Alright. Turret! I love all the sounds. Son, not only can this thing attack enemies, it can also be repaired quickly or be recalled instantly. I think I can even draw some attention away from us when necessary. 
Yes, but it's not loading with an automation model, so we need to issue various commands to it. Let's place it in front of you. Start by taking out the ground hiding in the forest to the northeast. Let's see what this turret can do. No problem! I'll leave the snipers waiting an ambush on both sides to you. Turret! Uh, six. Turret, my beloved. Can I hit that guy? I can. <laughs> Ditch. Me no choice. I'll show them what I'm made of. Oh yeah! Time for skills! Wait, which skill should I use actually? <laughs> Should I even use a skill? Oh yeah, grenades won't kill them. Do one shot a commando, yeah, okay. Who should I one shot though? No, turret can't attack anyone. Grenades, my beloved. <laughs> There's not much time left. We have to break through from the north to get to the refugee transport. Oh no, more guys incoming. To the entire area. Leave no stone unturned. Hunting team three, found anything there to the south? 
Oh, team three is dead. The patrols have doubled back and block our way north. We can't take them on by force. The plan with the refugee transport is off the table. Any other solutions? We need to reach the safe house no matter what. Check around for any URC vehicles we can borrow. Oh yeah, here we grab the brum brum. There it is, a snowmobile to the east. We can use that. It's insanely loud. Are you mad? Still bits running on foot. We have another 80 kilometers to cover. It's all over if we get caught here. I suppose we have no choice. Did she spill ketchup? Uh, yeah. They all went carrying a lot of ketchup and, and broke the bags. Team 3 reporting. The targets are here. We need reinforcements. Now, run for it. He's fine. Do you know how to drive this thing? It's part of my training. But I might need your help. Why? I got shot. The injuries are severe, but the bleeding may affect my ability to concentrate. Idiot. Why were you so careless? Treat your injury right now. There's no time! Attention all units! The targets are trying to escape when a commandeer the snowmobile! Deploy immediately! All units near the camp, go after them! Don't let them get away! The are are closing in. We're running out of time. A pipe pleasure on the wound for now. I'll drive and get us out of here. Woo! Victory! Oh! Oh, I didn't get S. Oh, I'll go back and do that later. <laughs> this is what happens when you forget to read the objectives. <laughs> it is what it is. Now we go broom broom! How are you feeling? The URC has set up a line of defense in the area. Hold on tight. We have to accelerate and circle around them on their flank. Right, I'll be fine. We've shaken up their pursuit, but the URC has placed the entire region under lockdown. There are lines with defenses everywhere. Pew pew! This is a pew pew! Right now, we have targets painted on our backs. Breaking through their encirclement in a snowmobile is unrealistic. If charging through is too risky, I suggest we ditch the snowmobile. We'll leave the snow mountain if we go a little further north. It will be safer to go through the woods quietly. That does sound less ridiculous than confronting the enemies. Let, let me ask. Forget about Crane, he can't save you now. There's a line of defenses ahead. I can already see the enemies closing in and trying to cut off our escape. I don't think this snowmobile can last long anyway. Let's return it to the URNC if they want it. Now's the time to break through their line of defense. We're about to enter their attack range. Be careful of your wound and jump off on the left in three. Rear that. Three, two, one. Jump. That part is so loud. <laughs> Smoke grenades now available for item production. So graphic darts now available for item synthesis. Nice! Gen enhancement. Woo! Weapon preparation! Woo! Yeah, 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 I remember. I remember this. To upgrade weapon.
<laughs> I need blueprints. Genetic enhancement, traits and skills. Traits and skills. Uh -huh. Okay, traits are passive, skills are active use. The skill will equip in the skill bar. Engineer's potential kits are mutually independent of each other. Okay. I was blueprint most in first. One shooting with sniper is so damn important. Yeah. I don't have blueprints though. Such. What's this? Oh, activated. You could take a little damage and not enter critical condition, but instead recovers to full HP. You can only trigger once per battle. Uh All right. Item preparation. Why should I upgrade the grenades? <laughs> I feel like upgrading the grenades. True, 60 damage. You're so right. Uh, item production, item synthesis. I can make support pick dart now. Uh, do I have any? I have two though. Should be good with that, probably. Can you break turret yet? Uh, nope. Now we're gonna save. And I'm gonna take a small break so I can go to the bathroom and refill my water. Because there's a lot to read. Third August in chapter two. Oh, nice. But yeah, uh, I need to refill my my water thingy and go to the bathroom. So small break. I'll be uh, right back.
I'm back. With el collapse reversiado. La chica de la panadería. Sí, 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 sí. Exactamente. <laughs> Let me check. I actually forgot to check if I have any important Discord message for my sister. Oops. Let me just quickly check that. Also, I didn't make my now live announcement on Twitter, but now it's too late. It's been three hours. <laughs> I was too hype. I forgot. I'm gonna make it now anyway. No, Reggie. <laughs> no, Reggie. No, Reggie. What do you want? There's no Sonic for you to attack now. Nothing important. <laughs> right, are you satisfied yet? I need to get back to killing people. <laughs> He's sitting in front of my keyboard. <laughs> I think this, this game has mouse implementation. Reggie, I need to find the Rosh Altruists. Please. Watch out, they're coming. They got the pursuing soldiers first. Shoom, shoom, shoom. The Ramasi mosquitoes are better than I thought. Battery will get you nowhere. How are you holding up? I'm fine, I can still fight. There are still a number of enemies in the area. The ketchup again. Woohoo! Target spotted, prepare to engage. Shit, the enemies from the south have flank us. Let's pull back and take over. Perhaps we can make things easier by blowing up the snowmobile fuel tank. Sure, be careful. Mm -hmm. Uh, supposed to blow up at least five enemy units. All right, all right. Click the snowmobile. Mark with an explosive marker. As explosive. Uh. -uh, -uh. There we go. Oh. Level 10. Pretty. <laughs> there we go. Dangerous explosion. Shroom. 
Branch two tiles, I think. It's too soon, right? I feel like we should wait until more more guys approach. Don't you agree, Reggie? Let's just kill these guys. Now it's a good moment to... <laughs> yes! Uh, where do I need to go? Actually? <laughs> Oh, defeat all enemy units is the big three objective. We'll be fine, probably. Now you're all beautifully positioned for me to do this. No, I'm out of range. There we go. <laughs> Guess I'm bad at the game. Uh, they have uh, they have 65 HP. So yeah, that's not the not the breakpoint. Fog is starting to snow more heavily. The fog is also thickening. The weather is working to our advantage. A skill issue, as we say. I can use the components I just pick up to synthesize a scanner. I'll use it to attack the enemy's position. Woo! Once it's finished, place it on the nearest high ground. Near the second explosive. I'm guessing this is it. I don't think I see any other explosive. Uh, scanner. Oh, 
Yeah, the snowmobile was an explosive, but I already blew that up. Where should I put the scanner? Somewhere you can scan? Thank you. Get back in the house, get some healing. No, I can't. It's out of range. Not the range. Okay, you have to wait for next turn to attack. Oh, it's insufficient AP. Red Beloved. All right. Need to grab that there as well. Have the guy just there? <laughs> uh, there anything else I can do? Uh, 
All right. Hey, Hakuya. Yes, I'm having fun. What is that guy? What are you? Our enemies are closing in on our position. From the sound of their footsteps, it seems to be coming from the east. There's quite a number of them. Don't rush in. We're played by ear. Oh, woo, God. The leader scout. Support team is in position. About to conduct an ambush in the forest. I love the voice acting. Oh no, 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 <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. There's so much lore skis I want to do with you. Ah! Man, I'm not doing well in this one. Damn it. Really? 
Alright, get healed. <laughs> no, my scanner, how dare you? Man, I'm not doing this in, in the 12 turns. I just try another one. That was bullshit. A skill issue, real. Okay. Just about. <laughs> Learn respite. Respite, my love, yes. We finally lost them. Safe house, Let's head towards the safe house. It's getting dark. Are you sure we're going in the right direction? If I can't even memorize the location of the safe house properly, my instructor wouldn't have let me leave the camp alive. Much less, much less go on an operation. The protagonist girl is mysterious girl. Oh yeah, we totally don't know, totally don't know her name. Fine. How's your injury? No, Kizuko. Uh, it's bearable. It hurt like hell just now, but now it's gone numb. I don't want to sound like a wimp, but it's bad. Lean over here. What are you doing? You're more competent than I expected. I can't let you die here. Well, is it serious? This is so odd. What is it? A scab has already formed over your wound. Really? Looks like the bullet just grazed me and left behind a shallow wound. It couldn't be possibly have been a scratch considering how much blood you lost. Well, I'm alright now. We can get rid of these useless bandages. I didn't take you for a jewelry wearer. Just some personal possession. Must have got shaken out during the commotion. Let's 
ここからだと回り道をしないといけない。Keep moving. It's, it's getting dark. There's still a long way to go from here on foot. We need to hurry up. Sure. What's at the safe house? We're here. Are you certain we're at the right place? There's no mistake. According to the backup plan, Tassan will wait for us for two more hours. Someone must be in the safe house right now. Besides, the leader of the team will never abandon us. Wait here for a bit. I'll go and say the code phrase. I was washing a night out in the yard. The heavens glowing with rough stars. Here she comes! A star melts in the barrel like salt. Yet the air is more stressful and more terrible. Beloved. I'm so glad to hear this code phrase again. Athena, thank goodness you're here. This is... We'll talk inside. Athena, beloved. What a weird code phrase. Oh, yeah. Are you the only one left on the squad, Fox? Yes, we only managed to escape with the help of Crane's intel. <laughs> yeah, the scary Yonesan, totally. Crane, the informant. I didn't expect him to get in touch with you. Yeah, I was quite surprised as well. Where's Jevon? Why are you here alone? You're too late. Jevon thought your mission had failed and initiated the backup plan. He told me to stay behind and wait a bit longer. If you had shown up any later, even I would have been gone. Someone in the know must have tipped off the URNC. They came straight for bakery. Both our teams were wiped out, even Carl. We've suffered heavy losses. A traitor must have sold us out. Actually, there is still a suspect that we haven't considered. <laughs> Mendo brought you here, which means you must be Bakery, the target that we're supposed to collect. Correct? Stop using that preposterous code name. Are you really Bakery? Are you really our mission objective? Athena, Aten I am absolutely sure. I am absolutely certain that she's bakery. We've been attacked multiple times on our way to rendezvous with you. The enemies were all making a beeline for her. That's a fact that I witnessed with my own eyes. What if it was all for show? That makes no sense at all. How will deceiving us benefit her? Two of our teammates, two of our teams already got wiped out. How likely is it that she's followed me all this way to kill you? I think that makes for a very convincing motive. But... Bakery and I exchanged fire with the URNC. Those bullets were no joke. Not to mention, she's led me through the snow and helped me elude enemy pursuit quite a few times. Maybe she knew the enemy's arrangements to begin with. We pick a route on the fly. She couldn't have remembered where all the enemy units were deployed, could she? Athena, you are being paranoid. <sighs> <laughs> Mando, save your breath. We'll let the facts speak for themselves. What are you doing? Oh yes, the knife. Just thinking, damn Mando, you're simping hard. <laughs> Already. 
We've done the knife. You're showing you some proof. I can't vouch for you. You don't have to harm yourself. Yep. Wow. Uh, hold on, the wound. It's fine. I will need first aid. It's healed already? I believe this isn't something just anyone can do. Or do you think the URNC would send a girl with such a unique physiology to assassinate you? This really is quite incredible. Has your body been augmented? You are not authorized to know about me, nor am I obliged to satisfy, to satisfy your curiosity. If you would like to know, you should ask Kampfer. Kampf. You know Colonel Kampf? He was the one who gave me his word that he would lead us back to the Antarctic. <sighs> I understand. I have no more questions regarding your identity. Welcome, Miss Bakery. I extend the warmest regards of the Antarctic Union on behalf of Colonel Kampf. I also apologize for my behavior. There's no need to apologize. Mendo said you're from Tassa. Where are your other members? There is a URNC base with an airstrip 30 kilometers away. My little sister is over there. I came because I require your assistance to rescue her. Little sister? What's this all about? I agreed to work with Colonel Kampf on the condition that my sister be brought along and lives with me. He agreed to my condition readily enough and even promised to be responsible for her personal safety. When we were ambushed by the URC, my sister was hit by a shell from one of the enemy's tanks. I didn't find her after that, but I can faintly sense that she's still alive. How could anyone survive being shot by a tank? Our physiology is different from normal people, as I have just demonstrated. Back then, were you searching for your sister? Yes. <laughs> She's just built different. Yeah. Since you caused the failure of the operation, you must take responsibility and see you through to the end. But you're the only target we've been instructed to evacuate. Wait, Athena. Why don't we let her finish first? Alright, go on. Her name is Lige. She's about this height, has short silver hair, and is clad in refugee clothes. The URC soldiers must have taken her while she was injured and transported her to the base I just told you about. If I'm not mistaken, the base with the airstrip that you mentioned must be the military command post in the inner Caucasus region. It's not my concern if that base is a command post or not. But it's very much of my concern. <laughs> you expect the three of us to flag a cap to the command HQ of the URNC and collect your baby sister as she prances out and waves her teacher goodbye? I know it will be extremely difficult to rescue her, but I can't just let her stay there on her own. I know the URNC's position there. 
If you provide me with cover, I can infiltrate the base and get her out. If all goes well, we won't have to engage the UR and C troops in an open confrontation. All I need is a diversion. I can get a clear grasp of all the enemy's positions, as long as I'm close enough. Planning an infiltration with such precise intel should be a piece of cake for special forces like you. I understand how you feel, but I'm afraid this really isn't my call. We are soldiers and we have to follow protocols. I'll need some time to report the situation to my superior. Besides, we can't attack a base with just a few of us. Then get in touch with your superior this instant. I need to talk to Kav face to face. That's also against protocols. Look, what you need now is good rest. You can only rescue your sister once you're well rested. It'll take a while to contact my superior and to come up with a plan, so you should use this time to win down and sort yourself out. Athena has a point. We won't end well if we just rush in recklessly. We need to be prepared. Get some rest. I'll tell you the moment we receive word. Rige is all that I have left. I will never leave her behind, no matter what. So I hope you'll put together a plan soon. I understand. Mendo, show the young lady to the room where she can rest. And clean yourself up while you're at it. We'll discuss other matters later. Have some rest first. You'll be the first to know once I get notified. Alright. Hmm, nice room. Any news yet? I'm afraid you'll have to wait a little longer. How long? I'm not sure about that. Maybe she's still talking to Jevan? Who's Jevan? Jevon is the leader of the Tasa squad that's going to help us evacuate. If he can come back with a squad, we won't have to worry about the URNC. It's a pity that the one who has authority to contact Colonel Kampf directly has already left. But he should return, he should return shortly once he's in touch with Athena. I sure hope so. If we can get in touch with Colonel Kampf, I'll tell him about your idea. If it is deemed feasible, I'm sure he will agree to it. Reggie! Hey! What are you doing? Get off there! What are you doing in the sink? I have a feeling it won't be so easy. Oh, Athena is extremely cautious and meticulous. She's just following protocol. Let's keep waiting. I'm fine, but I don't have time for that place. I'm trying to get out of the way. I can't wait, but my sister doesn't have that luxury. I've been trying my best to detect Lige. Sensing her location, her presence, her emotions. But she's too weak. I understand her concerns, but I know I can save Liga with my plan. You've been fighting by my side. You know what I'm capable of. Surely you don't believe I'm trying to drag you along to meet certain death. 
Of course I trust you. We've been through fire and water together. I'm willing to take my little sister to a world neither of us has seen before. It's because it's because Antarctica has met treated Ligue and I as people. That's why I'm willing to trust them and the Antarctic Union. But now, I am once again a mission objective to you Antarctican agents. Nothing more. If there is any change to your mission, I could very well just get left behind. If it's like this, does it matter to me whether I'm dealing with the Antarctic Union or the URNC? No, that's not true. Regardless of whether you're on your mission or objective, I will still protect you till the very end. Bimp. Why? You can't defy your orders, can you? Of course, I like to avoid any form of insubordination. But you've saved my life once, so even without my orders, I must repay this debt I owe you. I've been given such lip service too many times before. You should wake up and see reality for what it is. I, I really mean it. I will always stay by your side, and if the circumstances allow, I'll definitely help you find your sister. I will always stay by your side. <laughs> you just met! <coughs> Am I interrupting something? Oh, oh, please come in. Any news? I'm sorry. Aha, here we go. You... What have you done? Wait! Simp! Why did you suddenly tranquilize her? You're still hung up on that? It won't take the URC very long to find this place. We can't stay here for much longer. What about Jevon? He wouldn't have agreed to this. I am following instructions from Yeon himself. He told me to bring you to the other safe house as soon as possible. Are you really going to drag her away by force? Athena no simp allowed. <laughs> she isn't an object, you should at least consider her feelings. Even if you deny her request, at least give her an explanation. Mendel, since when have you become so professional? You think she will take no for an answer? If I had broken it if I had broken it to her, she would have refused to go along with the evacuation plan. Then we will have to subdue her by force, knock her out, and take her with us. The, out the outcome would have been the same, except she would have gotten hurt in the process. It's no use starting with you. How about this? I go and find her sister on my own, while you follow the plan and evacuate. I'll find a safe location and wait for the next transport aircraft. This way, you can't preserve your strength. The evacuation won't be delayed, and she will have her sister back. Are you crazy? Did that girl brainwash you or something? Or did you hit your head in a fight? Do you honestly believe things are this simple? Reality is a lot more complex than what's planned on paper. Don't let your optimism blind you into taking risks so lightly. 
The world doesn't spin around you. That girl is a lot more calculating than you, than you think. I could already tell at first glance that she's no normal person. She's more than you can handle. But... Boom! What was that? Something set off the booby trap of the innermost defense perimeter around the safe house. The security system must have been hacked. The sensors aren't detecting anything. How did the URC get here, got here so quickly? Damn it, we're exposed. Mendo, carry Baker in your back. We have to get out of here right now. She isn't in the house. What? That's not possible. The dosage was enough to knock out an adult male for an entire day. Haha, <laughs> you miscalculated. Take cover. The enemies are shooting at us. They're fast. Mando, get out of here first. Head towards the mountain in the back. Take this mouth path. What about you? We have to destroy all the equipment in the safe house before we leave. Search for that little girl on your way. If you do find her, make for the backup safe house. That's where we'll regroup. I'll regroup with you as soon as possible. Uh, Alright. I'll be waiting for you. Breakout. Painkiller is now available. What the painkiller do? Restores 14 HP and grants treatment. Recovers 25 HP at the start of the earlier turn. Ah, okay. So healing over time. Can I upgrade? Now I need two points to upgrade the thing. I have one turret. Genetic enhancement. When position in ruins, buildings, build boxes, so blah, 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 increase evasion by 15. Let's go. Uh, I can't look at the fury, so. I got a four grip. And that's it. <laughs> oh, but I think I'm gonna leave it up to here. I am... I am... Uh... Like, I'm strangely tired. <laughs> and hungry. I'm very hungry. <laughs> so let's go back here. And we're gonna leave that mission for next time. This is not the cake I commando, please. How do I exit the game? Uh, settings, collection, back to main menu. Too much baker can get you hungry and tired. Yeah. <laughs> I usually will go for like one more hour or so. Like uh people that tune in to my Saturday morning streams or like even evening for some. Not that I usually go for like 
four to five hours. I mean, we're almost at the four hour mark. Uh, but for some reason, I feel very tired. Yeah, I think it was too much lore dump. Like, no joke. My tongue feels tired. <laughs> That's why I have I was having such uh, so much trouble reading at some point. Like my 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 tongue feels a bit numb. Also, my my, my wrist was hurting for having been on the mouse. I I have I don't have like a wrist wrist rest, so I just I just had it like on the table. <laughs> too much lore, damn! Too much lore. But yeah, I'm so ex I'm so excited. <laughs> no controller. I do have controller. I have uh, many many controller. Uh, I just feel this kind of game. I feel it's easier to like move around with the mouse. Also, I don't know which is the keyboard key to like advance dialogue. So I was clicking. What I read, <laughs> I was just clicking on the mouse, the mouse button, which uh, I don't think was good for my wrist. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to keep it going because I, I'm not gonna be continuing right away because tomorrow, tomorrow we're doing more narrow cloud. If I manage to finish narrow cloud tomorrow, which I doubt. But if I manage to finish tomorrow, there will be more reverse collapse next week. Uh, if not, if not, it might need to wait, to wait a week, because I need to finish the Nora Cloud event and uh, reverse 1999 chapter five. <laughs> but after that, uh, you can expect reverse collapse. Every weekend, until unless something comes up. Because I, I am very excited for this game. <laughs> very excited. But yeah, it's the first time that my 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 like my tongue feels so tired. Like. <laughs> It's so weird. It feels so weird. But it is it is what it is. Your brain will explode too when you get to 2 5. <laughs> how many how many stages was in the first chapter? I don't remember. Six. How many did I do? I didn't count. I think I was close. Like, if I weren't so tired, I could maybe have finished chapter one today. You have two more. Okay, yeah, yeah. If I weren't so tired, I could have finished chapter one today. But as I said, uh, I really feel like I need to rest my mouth. <laughs> Especially since... Tomorrow, there's gonna be more reading in Narrow Cloud. <laughs> so, I should probably go rest my vocal cords, my tongue, to be ready for tomorrow. But next week, next week, next week, hopefully, we can continue. Reverse collapse. If not, the week after for sure. And then I'll. I want to have it as a consistent thing, so uh, unless, unless Mika hits me with like more and more event stuff, you're gonna expect reverse collapse every Saturday after I'm done with Narrow Cloud, with the Narrow Cloud event. <laughs> I'm so excited! Yay! But yeah, right now, as I said, tongue tired, stomach hungry. So I'm going to be taking my leave. 
glad I got RC or Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> I mean, there's a big price difference there, so... <laughs> but yeah, hunger. Um, I think Reggie is also hungry. She's been... She was getting onto the kitchen counter. She, she was getting into the sink for some reason. <laughs> so I, I think she's hungry. So I think I should feed her as well. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, guys, for more Nero Cloud. And as I said, we'll see if I can hopefully finish tomorrow and have more reverse collapse next week. But we shall see, we shall see. I still have a ways to go on Neural Cloud. So we shall see. But for now, thank you guys for coming. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed the lore. I'll see some of you tomorrow. If not, I'll see you whenever I see you. So yeah, remember to take care of yourselves, stay safe, keep yourself hydrated, and I'll see you guys next time. So bye-bye! To bakery!